Hello and thanks for joining me today. This is objective number eight in our RHCSA hands-on practice lab, which makes it part eight. In the previous video, we did look at manage basic networking, which is uh, part seven. And if you've not seen that or the previous videos, please do uh, watch them. So in this video, we're going to look at uh, manage users and groups. That's uh, this objective. And we've got questions to consider for that. Uh, the next video would be manage security and manage containers. And that's it. That's us done. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, uh, do share with anyone you know would uh, benefit from this. Let's get started. First task is asking us to create a group named share group and create the following users. So we've got user Haruna, we've got user Umar, we have another user Aduga, but they've got uh, different requirements. So let's start with the first one. Create a group named uh, share group. It's just a uh, group add. So group add, we call the group share group. Enter, that's us. We're done. We've created the group. So uh, for you to get to, to check if the group exists, you can do get and uh, group and then get and group, you provide a group name or just Etsy groups. Uh, but yeah, you, you will see this the group and this the, the idea of the group. So that's done. Next, it says create uh, the user uh, Haruna with no login shell. And it's the user is not a member of uh, the share group, the group we just created. So that's uh, easy as well. So let's, we'll just create the user, user add, uh, but there's a requirement for the shell. So we we'll use sbin no login because it's not going to have a login, a login shell. sbin no login, what's the username? The user is Haruna. Hit enter, that's us done. Next, uh, but just to verify, you can ID Haruna at, the, at this time. You should have, yes, you should have Haruna, a user that is created already. Good, next. A user Umar, which uh, who is a member of a uh, share group, it should be yeah, share group of the group share group. So here we can do user add. We want to make this uh, dash G would uh, would take uh, arguments for groups that you want a user to belong to. In this case, we just want user to belong to the group share group. And note that the group should already be. Uh, created or before you can add a user to the group. So we already have share group. So yeah, this is the user we want. Uh, this is the group we want them to belong to. That's it. What's the name of the user? Umar, hit enter. That's all. So if you ID Umar, you can see that Umar is there. Cool. Umar is there and they are also a member of share group. You see, so we are done. Next, uh, the final user here, Adoga, should be created with a UID of 444 and should be a member of um, share group. So uh, user add, but this time we want a particular UID 444, 4444. 4, 4, 4. uh, and then they should be a member of share group and their name is uh, Adoga enter. That's it. So if we ID this user Adoga, we'll see that the user is there. Awesome. Uh, next is to change uh, set the password for all the users to be pass uh, password. So uh, you can use just say um, pass wd, you know pass wd. Uh, the first user maybe Haruna pass. Then you enter and provide the password or and and do the next one. But we can use a loop. We've we, we've covered. Uh, shell scripting in uh, part two of this uh, series. So you should be comfortable with creating simple loops that can be used in uh, in a shell. So we can say for user in, we've got three users now that require, that requires a password, password of her um, password. So for user in Haruna, the order doesn't matter anyways, but uh, Doga, for these three users, right, semicolon, we want to uh, do this so we want to uh, pass give the give them a password of uh, password we want to create uh, this password for them echo this and pass that take that as uh, 
an input to the passwd command, which is the command that you would usually use to uh, to change a password. So, and uh, the argument would be the standard uh, input stdn that will come in from the for loop uh, command. So, uh, for the user, note that this user here is a variable that we have already uh, declared here. So. If we use any, you can use anything here, but it has to be the same thing here because you are calling normal variables from uh, programming. So that's it. So let's let's go through the syntax again. For user in for the loop user in so this uh, list uh, in this uh, Haruna Umar Adoga that's uh, the three users. Uh, you should do this. So I want to echo this particular word. This could be anything. Uh, 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 also this this like a test environment so uh, it doesn't matter if people can see uh, the password just saying and then we want the command would be uh, passwd uh, and it's taking standard input uh, and passing the argument for user that's it so for that uh, done enter so that's it we've changed all the password for all the three users it might be easier for some, if, if you've got just one or two, three users to just say passwd user one, uh, enter the password, repeat the password, passwd user two. But this is good. This is uh, good because it will allow you to handle a much uh, larger number of you know users and not just adding user. Understanding this is good for uh, doing the tasks that are repetitive that would need to go through like at least, you know, maybe adding um, services to a firewall or adding ports stuff like that but that's what's done okay change the password of user adoga to perfect so uh we can do for a particular just one user so passwd for that user we want it to be perfect uh perfect yes that's all so user password policies so enforce that's uh, the second task here enforce password policy to have a minimum length of eight characters so uh, the file we need to edit for that is etsy security uh, password quality if you hit enter uh, i am using vim uh, essentially but you can use uh, anything you're comfortable with so uh, if you scroll down you can see there is uh, here it says min length so cannot set password lower than uh, six but the min minimum length here is uh, the current value is six uh, is eight so it says here uh let me see let me see let me see okay eight characters so if <coughs> if this is um commented out then you have to take it out yes so now we have min minimum length of uh, eight characters and you can change the value for minimum length obviously from here but the requirement is eight so uh, escape colon right quit that's it so um set the max password age to 30 days this is like expiry uh, you'll be forced first to re uh, users will be forced to uh, reset their passwords after this number of days could be 30 or any number so the file is uh etsy login uh, login dot devs so hit enter and just scroll i'm i'm using j to scroll down you can use down arrow that's if you're using uh, vim you you can use any text editor i've said this already so let's scroll down down let's go let's go or you can to waste to uh, if you're using vim actually we can search for max yes just just so you don't waste endless you know waste time trying to so max uh, pass days. So this is it. So max, the default you can see is 9999. Uh, what the question is asking us is to reduce this, bring it down to, we want it to be 30 days. That's it. Uh, colon, right quit. We are done. Um, so the final one, which is uh, three, delete users and groups. So remove user Umar from share group. There is uh, G pass, uh, pass W for group pass wd we can use that um dash d you specify the user but just in case let's say you're not familiar with the command so we can you just man g pass uh wd hit enter so you can see it says here g pass wd 
um, administer Etsy Group and Etsy Shadow, essentially the files that handle um, passwords and whatnot. So let's see, uh, scroll group, a uh, group dash D, you see, uh, that's delete. You specify the user and then you specify the group. So let's go back to our question. So it says, uh, remove uh, the user Umar from share group. So G pass uh, WD dash D, what, who do we want to remove? We want to remove Umar from what group? We want to remove them from this group. So you can see it says removing user Umar from a uh, group share group. So if we get and uh, for example, get any group and we look, we look into share group, we can see it's only one user that is there at Uga. So what's the next question? It says delete uh, the share group. So let's, so it's just a uh, group del. So group, uh, group del, this is the group we want to delete, share group, enter. And that's it. So if we repeat the same thing, get end group, share group, you can see it's returning nothing because the group doesn't exist anymore. And finally, uh, delete user Haruna with their home directory. So this with their home directory, um, it's, it's important because if you just do user del, if you just use user del and you specify the name of the user, it's going to delete the user, but their home directory is still going to be in uh, slash home. So if you see slash home, you can see different uh, users that I have got. So with, uh, with that, now I can, um, if you're not familiar with that, you can just do man, uh, man user del for example so you can see the command is uh, delete a user account and relate unrelated files you see unrelated files uh, if you scroll down there is an option for uh you know deleting the user deleting the home directory as well so dash r removes files in the user's uh, home directory so we can do that will be removed the um, the user's home directory will be removed as well files in the user home directory uh, will be removed as well. So let's just do uh, that. So Q um, user del dash R and we can specify the name of the user. What's what user do we need to Haruna uh, user del dash R Haruna. So if we ID um, Haruna just now, there is no such user. And that's it uh, generally for this uh, question. This uh, um, objective of uh, manage users and groups. Uh, so if you're able to do this, then you should be comfortable with uh, answering questions around this. Um, we did in, in part two, uh, creating sh shell scripts. I, I, I used a script to create uh, a user, to create like multiple users. So, and that I moved this to the, to that objective because it required the use of uh, shell scripts to create the users, but uh, this generally the things you need to know for this particular objective. So the next video would be on this objective, uh, manage security, and we're going to look at things like setting root SSH and troubleshooting SC Linux, file permissions. Finally, we'll do containers and the series would be uh, complete, will be done. Um, I would like to thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe, share, give a like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.